Hi and welcome to part 18 of how to build e-commerce websites using Django and Vue.js. In this part I'm going to make it possible to collect email addresses for newsletters. So at the bottom here I'm going to add a new row for every pages where we have a little sign up form. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a new app. This is where I want to collect the email addresses. So if I go to the command line and stop the server, I'm going to create a new folder mk there apps newsletter and then i create the actual app python manager by start app newsletter apps newsletter and then i can go to the visual studio code and into settings.py to add this to the list of installed apps apps.newsletter so now django knows that it exists Next step is to add a new model to the models.py in the newsletter folder. The model should be called subscriber. Pass in models.model. I want the email address. Models.email field. Max length 255. You can also have a date added just so I have this. Models.date time field auto now add equals true so this is filled automatically when i when the submission is okay then add a function so i can have a string representation of this in the admin interface return percentage s self dot email and then before i do anything more i just want to import this to the admin interface from dot models import subscriber admin dot site register subscriber and save now we can just update the database migrate so now we have a new model called subscriber if i run the server again now and go to slash admin can log in here and this popped up here I don't have any subscribers yet but we will fix that now so what I want to do now is to go inside core templates and create a new folder here called parts inside the parts folder I create a new file called newsletter.html so Hey, this is a little file that I want to include in the base template below here. So in here I can just say div class newsletter wrapper h2 class subtitle subscribe to my not to our newsletter. Just save it for now so you can see what it looks like. And then here I say include parts slash newsletter.html and save. If I refresh now, we will see this at the bottom of the screen. Perfect. But I need to style this and I need to add the form. I actually want to use Vue.js for this. So I want to use a Vue.js form to submit this to the backend. So here I can say script. And then say var newsletter app equals new view element is newsletter wrapper. Then I need to add this as an ID as well. So we can save, refresh, and just look in the command line to see that everything is okay. View is not defined. Okay, that's because it's added below here. Okay, that means that I need to move my view loading script above here and up in the head. Save, refresh, and now it's okay. Perfect. So then I can also add some styles to the newsletter. So if I open up main.css, 
dot newsletter wrapper to select this div and I want to padding on the top and the bottom 50 pixels on the top and 20 pixels on the side I want all of the content in here to be on the center of the screen center so now we have it centered and we have space above and below can add a little background color as well very bright gray like that perfect so then i can add the form form and the field in div class field has add-ons div class control input type email name email v model you can add this later class input and the placeholder your email or email address below here i want to add the button control button submit and the class button is success before i continue i just want to say thanks to my patreons so i need to center this form as well this field has add-ons i need to change this to justify content center so inside there i need to add or select this so I can say dot newsletter wrapper dot field dot has add-ons justify content center to override the one from Bulma refresh so now that looks okay perfect nothing happens when I click this except that the, the site is re refreshed so now I need to do some changes here as well I need to add the data function return email empty so now I can also set the V model email so I can connect this field with the content up here and when I submit this form submit dot prevent then I want to go on submit methods console.log on submit we test this open up the inspector again submit sorry this has to be v on submit so when we listen to submit we stop the form from submitting and calling this function instead refresh submit okay I need to add a valid email submit and now this was called perfect so now the next step is to create an API function to receive this data in the back end so inside newsletter we create a new file api.py it import JSON response from django.http import json response and i need to import the newsletter model from dot models import subscriber def api add subscriber request then i just want to go into the api for for the store and just copy something here copy these three like this the runs me i need to import json as well so add subscriber we get the data set the, set the success to true get the email from the email don't have to cast this to a string and then we can create the subscriber s equals subscriber dot objects dot create email equals email return 
JSON response. And I can just copy this, paste, remove that, and save. So now we have a function for receiving the data. If I copy this, I can import it to the URLs. Up here, I say from apps.newsletter.api import api add subscriber. Then I can add it here, path api add subscriber, pass in the name of the view and add the name and save. And then the last step, or the next step at least, is to add a fetch function here. I want to copy this as well from another template file. I can copy it from the cart fetch. This one. Copy the whole thing. And paste it below here. I can actually remove this one, the data, and here I can just say console.log data like this. I can remove this, add subscriber. So when we click the submit, we call the API slash add subscriber. Then we need to paste the, the email here, just the email and this dot email, which refers to this field and save. So now we can try this, refresh, no errors, Stein at the SDF dot you know. Okay, future. Okay, typo. Try again. Valid email. API add. Subs sorry, one more typo. Like that. Refresh. One more try. Success is true. So if I refresh now. We have the email I just created. Perfect. So maybe we should show a message to the user when the when the email is saved. Show success false. And in here we say this dot show success equals true. This dot show success equals false. And a pair below the form is a div class notification v if show success the email address was saved like that. And we can also reset this this dot email empty. So if I refresh now, test again. Submit. Okay, it didn't go down here. Okay, it's because this is a regular function, so we need to change this to a ES6 fat arrow function and save. Maybe I can do it up here as well. Save, refresh. If I try again now. Yo, at this testing. Submit. So this was the reset, and we have a message below here. Perfect. You can change the class to is success, and also add a little bit space here. Use at the wrapper dot notification margin top twenty pixels, so we get a little bit space over there. Last at email dot com. Submit. Now it looks much better. Perfect. So now we can collect emails for our customers. And that was it for today. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, 
please click like below and please share this video with your friends and colleagues.